Hey guys and welcome to another video. Now, in front of me, I have a game that I made by myself. If you want to learn how to make this game, go to my YouTube channel and go click the playlist called Game Design. Check out the first few videos and I'm sure you'll be able to make this game by yourself. Uh, so you can go do that or you can stay uh, in this video and in this video we're going to be doing something pretty interesting actually. We're going to be making a score and basically as the player moves the score increases and it allows you to know exactly how far you got in the game. So the first thing that we're going to be doing, I'm just going to delete that extra asset right there. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the hierarchy right here, right click, go to UI and hit text. and it looks weird because of the angle that I'm at right now, but like right here, if you look, if I go out a bit, you might see that there's it says new text. New text also appears right here, so we can adjust it. Right now I'm at a weird angle. Hopefully you're not. You can adjust, but just for the sake of this video, it's gonna do pretty quick. So I'm gonna go into text and we can move this around using these arrows so that's quick and easy um, also if you hit text uh, go down a bit change the horizontal overflow to overflow and hit center alignment and center height and then we can adjust this from here I'll bring it up a bit and now there are several things we can do to this text the first thing uh, very important, you can change the font size. I can just change it to 25 because I just think that's a good size. I can also change what the text says, obviously. Let's just put it to 1. You can put it to anything. You can put it to a big number. A very big number. Well, yeah, so I'll just leave it at 1 for the sake of just doing it. Um, I'll just leave the color at black. But like if you want, you could just click here, change it to whatever you want. I honestly think black just looks the best. Um, so we really just created text. But what we want is for the text to change as the player moves. So, well before that we do that, by default this is Arial. And Arial is ugly and disgraceful. So I'm just going to go in and change that. Now the way you can change what font it is is by going on to Google, just searching up Roboto, clicking enter and hitting the first link. Then it will bring you to a page that looks like this and just click download family and it gives you every single Roboto font there is. So I'm just gonna go take it, drag it in here. Oh, I already have a copy. Okay, I'll just put it in the trash. Okay, well I already have a copy right here. So I can take that copy, once you put it in your desktop, go in, back into Unity and drop it in the Assets area. So it appears right there. Now if you double click on this, it will automatically create a folder. So just double click on it, then close the tab that opens up, and it just automatically creates this folder in Unity. So I'm just going to take it and drag it in. Oh, this is already full, never mind. So just delete this then. Delete it. And we've just got this with all our fonts right here. Now, these are different fonts. This is going to be Roboto Bold, and it's going to be the thick font. This is Roboto Thin, and it's, well, the skinny one, kind of obvious. So, what we're going to be doing is going into text right here. It says Arial. Uh, I'm going to use this one. And looks pretty nice to me uh, way better than Arial uh, obviously um, now we basically just created the text now here comes the actual part that requires code uh, we're gonna have to code this to be the same number as uh, in player as this Z number so if it's zero your score is zero if it's 2,000 though, your score is 2,000. And what? Watch this right here. Like as I start the game, this changes constantly and keeps going up. 
Like, just look at it. Oh my god, it's glitching so bad. Uh, zero frames a second right there. But it, it became 126. So that's what we want. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into text, scroll down, and hit add component. Then we're going to hit new script, and we're going to call this script score. Now it's going to appear here in the assets, and we're going to double click on it to open it up. Okay, there it goes. So this is what uh, the C Sharp code script will look by default. So we're going to delete the first two lines of code because we won't be using them. And also the void start function. Delete that. So it just makes things more simple and more easy to understand. The first thing we're going to be doing is creating a variable. To do this, we're going to type public transform player. And then we're going to put a semicolon. Inside of this void update area, we're going to type debug.log and inside of uh, debug.log, we're going to type player.position.z. Basically, this will uh, make sure that within the console, uh, the position of the player on the Z axis is constantly uploaded every frame uh, on the computer. So you might not understand that, so uh, I'll show you what I mean right now. So we're going to go into here, wait for it to load, and go into text. Okay, finally. Now, down here in text, there was the script, but now there's this player because we just created a variable. Now, we're going to actually drag the player into this area right here. Now, basically, what we've done is when we hit play and go into the console, you can see that every single frame it is being uploaded the position of this square on the Z axis. So if we go into player and see in the Z axis it is at 38 roughly and in here it is also at 38. So it is exactly telling us where this square is on the Z axis. Something we could use as say points. So if we just take this number and put it where this one is and constantly update it could be our score. So we just have to do that. And it's actually pretty simple. So we're just going to delete all this debug.log code right there. And we're going to add another variable. This is public and then text score text. And then we're going to put a semicolon to end that off. Then we're going to do command s to save it. And uh, in the void update area, we're going to type score text dot uh, capital text. Why can't I type text dot text, which is equal to player player dot position dot z um, dot um, to string, and then we're going to put uh, two brackets at the end and a semicolon. We're going to command S and hope we made no bugs, and we did. Um, text. If we go in here, for some reason, we can't create the variable text. Ah, uh, I see. So, um, we have this using Unity engine tag right here. But when we created text, we created a UI. And to create that kind of variable, we will have to create another tag up here. Uh, this tag is called Unity Unity Engine dot UI and a semicolon. Oh, I thought we actually had something really big and bad right there. But, uh, okay, so let's go into our game right now and go into text. And we've got another variable, score text. And we just have to drag text from up here down here. Um, now, let's play the game. Now, look here where 
it is uploading so precisely we can see it to like such a low decimal place. That's confusing, not necessarily good. To fix that, all we have to do is put two quotation marks and a zero where it says to string. We're going to do command s to save that and let's hit the play button. Do, 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 do. Just wait in it for, for it to load. Boom, there we go. Check out that. We just created a score for our game. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video in this series.